Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meezy69, and welcome back to the channel. Now, there is the this bundle in store for the T127 and the Locus, and they are both tier three tanks. They are both really low tiers, but they're not actually bad tanks. This one is, is not the best, um, but... Yeah, I mean, it, it does the job. It's okay. It's got troll armor. Um, but the Locust, I think, it is, is actually a really, really good tank. And, of course, both of these tanks used to be premium tanks. And they are they got changed to, to collectible tanks. And, obviously, now they're coming back for, for sale. Um, however, £5. £5 for two tanks is it's cheap. It's cheap. They're cheap cheerful i definitely prefer the locust over over this tank and they are quick firing tanks i mean the locust is, is I think it's, uh, we've got a battle next game and we do manage to, to ace it um this tank i do i am having sort of trouble with um with playing i'm kind of getting wrecked all the time um but it's not a bad tank now both of these tanks i would probably i would probably actually pay five pound for each of them but this bundle i mean i've said it before and i'm going to say it again people are quick to to judge wargaming and complain when a tank comes for sale in crates or gold or money and they are expensive where a lot of people don't say uh, to wargaming like well done when they bring some tanks into store that are very very cheap and there's also more bundles in in the store where you can get like four tier sevens which i'm in the middle of making a video because it's a great deal like they are great deals and i don't i'm not saying that i'm gonna get any money from wargaming like if I sell any of these, because I'm telling you that these are a good deal, it's not about that. It's actually telling you guys, you know, this. Whether you play lower tier or higher tier, if you do occasionally, if you're a collector and you do occasionally want to go down to the lower tier, or you want to get as many ace aces as you can in the game uh, for, for tank wise, uh, different tanks. Then for five pound, I mean, it's not going to break the budget. It really isn't. Five pound for two tier three tanks, I do actually think is is a really, really good deal. So that's the T127. I mean, it's it's okay. It's not the best, but it's not, it's not the worst. Um, it does the job. In tier three, it does the job. When you're up against tier four, then yes, you might struggle in the tank makes does make credits i mean we only got 600 damage then we still make 22 and a half thousand credits it does the job it does the job now it's not a tank i would go to i mean even if you got these tanks and wanted to sell them and you you you're going to get gold and you're going to get the same price as you would if you'd spend five pound on gold so why not buy these two tanks play them ace them then sell them for gold it's you might as well so this up next up we have the locus and again the speed on this thing is really really good and you can just see the armor is is not the greatest when you're looking directly at it but when you st sort of sort of uh, start getting that upper plate which you're going to see the locust on the enemy team in a minute once you start getting that upper plate uh, raised up then it does become pretty pretty uh, troll but three second reload i mean what is it 3.1 second reload doesn't have adrenaline in in these lower tiers so i enjoy these kind of tanks more than the big alpha guns especially in these low tiers when you're up against tier twos and new players that just have no idea so you can just do that poke out poke in poke out poke in constantly and just try and abate but trying to bait shots which we're pretty much going to do this entire game. So you can just see we, when we shoot, we're going to back up quickly, reload, and then back out again. So we're literally just going back, 
forward, back, forward, back, forward constantly. That's the kind of gameplay I love in, in lower tiers. Sometimes, yes, you, your bait's not going to work and you are going to get penned. Just like this Chi Heart here, he, uh, he knows what I'm doing and he's pretty much doing the same thing. He's going to wait, come back. I do unfortunately bounce, but he does miss his shot. Now we have the T127 coming around. And again, you can see the armor on, on that thing is it's not the best. It is red. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is red. But it's not, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. And you're going to get troll bounces. You, in these lower tiers, I mean, look at that. The armor in that kind of position is actually really, really good. The, the front plate, the top plate is quite strong. And you play it correctly, you will guaranteed to get some bounces. I mean, you can have a tank with zero armor in tier 3 and still get bounces. I mean, you're up against new players that has not got a clue. Now... They do struggle, I'm not going to lie, they do struggle in, in tier 4, but this especially, it's a quick tank, it really can get around the map, it's quite a small tank, just look at it, it's really, it is really, really cute. Um, with that quick firing gun, I mean, the 3.1 seconds, what, it does 30 to 40 damage per shot, um, but you'll be surprised how quickly your damage does rack up when you're when you're pumping out that damage every three seconds um in the lower tiers as well so not a bad tank i like this tank are uh, not a lover or of the t127 but for five pound four pound 99 when you get two tanks for that price i think that's a pretty good deal i do think that's a pretty good deal even if you are just for a collector or if you need the ace buy it sell it for gold and you've got your money yeah you're not losing any money you've got your money's worth in gold so i hope you enjoyed it guys i'm Mizi 69 and i'll catch you all soon bye bye